Let's begin this morning with the rising tensions between the United States and Israel over Israel's handling of the war in Gaza. NBC's Aaron Gilchrist is at the White House with more. Aaron, good morning. Willie, good morning to you. It's been about a week now since Israel announced it indeed has a plan for an assault on Rafah and the evacuation of civilians. But no more details have been released at this point. Now, several U.S. officials tell NBC News the White House is considering how to respond if Israel invades Rafah without an achievable plan to protect Palestinian civilians. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby on Friday explained why the U.S. would not support Israel launching an attack on Rafah right now. We won't get behind a plan that doesn't properly account for those million and a half refugees in Gaza who need a place to go where they can be safe from the from the fighting. To move in right now in a major way without uh, a proper accounting for all those people uh, would, as we've said, be, be a disaster. Now, Admiral Kirby was asked directly whether the administration expected to see the Rafa plan and would only repeat, quote, we would welcome the opportunity to see it. Now, U.S. officials have discussed possibly withholding or delaying the sale of some weapons to Israel. At the same time, the U.S. set a March 24th deadline for Israel to provide written proof that it's using American weapons in line with international law. If the Israelis are not complying, it could force the issue of military support. Willie? More than five months now, those hostages have been held and much needed Gaza aid as well on the line here. We'll be watching Aaron Gilchrist at the White House this morning. Aaron, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.